Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the word mother touches our hearts deeply, bringing to us love, warmth, kindness, and endless care. A mother is not just a word, she is life itself, a source of strength, a refuge in times of need, and beacon of unconditional love. She wears many hearts, as somebody rightly said, mother is CEO of the household, chef, cheerleader, protector, teacher, and so much more. Her roles and responsibilities are countless and her love is limitless. Every year on September 8, we gather to celebrate the birthday of the most beloved mother of all, our Blessed Mother Mary. In today's world, people often see Mary in two extreme ways. Some sadly overlook her importance, viewing her merely as the woman who gave birth to Jesus and then stepped aside. Others place her on a pedestal so high that she is almost worshipped as a goddess, sometimes even overshadowing God himself. But these views miss the true essence of who Mary is. We are called to a balanced and genuine devotion to her, one that honors her rightly and leads us closer to God. Let us reflect on Mary in a new light. Mary is our model. Her life is a shining example of how to listen to God respond to his call and faithfully fulfill his will. She shows us how to be humble and obedient, trusting in God's plan, even when it's difficult. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. With these words, Mary taught us the power of surrendering to God's will. Mary is the first apostle. As the first disciple of Christ, she was always close to Jesus, physically, in thought, and in her constant longing for him. She is the apostle who followed Jesus from the cradle to the cross. Do whatever he tells you, John 2, 5. Mary's words at the wedding at Cana reminds us to follow Jesus faithfully and trust in his guidance. Mary is a revolutionary. She had the courage to say yes to God's plan, even when it meant facing unimaginable challenges. She is the ultimate revolutionary who dared to follow God's will with unwavering faith. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Luke 1, 46, 47. In her Magnificat, Mary shows us how to praise God even in the midst of uncertainty. Mary is the hidden yeast in God's plan of salvation. Her words in the Bible may be few, but her life speaks volumes. She is the silent force through whom God's grace raised up our Savior, working quietly yet powerfully in the background. And Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. Luke chapter 2 verse 19. Mary's contemplative heart reminds us of the power of quiet reflection and inner strength. Mary, our Blessed Mother, is our beautiful, loving guide who deserves our deepest affection. But her role is always to lead us closer to her Son, Jesus, and to help us grow in our faith. Friends, as we celebrate the nativity of our Blessed Mother, let us deepen our love for her and by holding her hand, walk more faithfully in the path of God. 
as Fulton Jason reminds us, the less we think of him, the less we think of her. The more we adore his divinity, the more we venerate her motherhood. The less we acknowledge his divinity, the less we have respect for her. May we grow ever closer to Jesus through her loving care. May God bless you all.